Welcome to Canadian PGA TV. We're here at Rattlesnake Point for the 2010 Mr. Lube Canadian PGA Seniors Championship and standing beside Mr. Rod Spittle, uh, born and raised in Niagara Falls, uh, Chippewa area, I believe, actually. And uh, just finished playing this morning uh, with a round of 69, 35, 34. Uh, Rod, tell us about your round this morning. Really, it, uh, it's a pretty solid way to get started, Jeff, as I mentioned a few minutes ago. I think I just made one, uh, one bogey. But again, putted for a lot of birdies all day and kind of found my way around the golf course. So it's pretty good, uh, pretty good position for the next couple of days, really. Now, how's this? How's this heat playing a factor? I mean, we we believe it's the hottest uh, temperatures on record in Canadian PGA history. Uh, tell us a bit about how that affects your game and how some of the guys are handling it. Well, I think. Uh, probably the same or what you've heard with with most of the players I mean it truly by the time you get to the back nine after three or four hours I mean I think everybody's dragging just a little bit so you know, again you try to stay as cool as you can and drink as much liquid as you can so it's uh, everybody's in the same boat but you're right it's uh, it's a little on the warm side there's yeah. no, no doubt about it now Rod tell us about yesterday you had some great comments for the pro-am which we obviously were happy to hear but uh, tell us a bit about your day yesterday and uh, the new sponsor and uh, your play with some some key people well it, again as we both know I mean tournaments like this aren't successful without great sponsors and uh, to have Mr. Lube and I played with the uh, the folks from uh, West well, from Wakefield yeah. correct well and we had a great time and uh, you know folks stayed around for the dinner and again to be tied into the uh, prostate cancer uh, foundation or charity is just a, a, an awfully smooth way of doing things so it, it's very nice to be a part of it there's no doubt about it and we have some uh, usual suspects at the top there we've got Jim Rutledge 67 we've got Craig Marseille 68 yourself uh, uh, we still have two more days but tell us a bit about your game plan for tomorrow well again I, I'm sure most of the guys t probably tell you the same thing you know just to be in position for uh, for the last day so again to stay pretty close these first couple days so again you know to be uh, three or four under after the first uh, couple of days is, is all good and again I'm, I'm sure the weather's going to stay the same so mm -hmm. again just to stay close with within striking distance for uh, for Thursday afternoon Abs Beautiful. absolutely well Robert happy to have you here and uh, great plan this morning and uh, keep it up this week I appreciate it, Jeff always a good time thanks thank, thank you buddy thanks